Hello everybody, welcome back to Frank Bed Bench. Guess what we have this time on the bench? This time we have a Commodo 128D, which is the disk drive integrated uh, unit, um, which seems to be quite working, but uh, the internal disk drive appear to have some problems because it doesn't read anything so we'll try to uh, understand what's wrong with this unit most of the times the floppy problems are just dirty uh, stuck mechanism so the first thing I do always is to Dust off everything with compressed air or uh, yes, a can like this, and um, removing all the dust with uh, a brush and uh, clean the head very carefully with a Q-tip uh, and isopropyl alcohol. The heads in this case are two: one on the bottom and one of the top of the disc then gently uh, rotating uh, the head movement uh, without touching the, the head itself uh, i put a few drops of oil in the in the rail with this uh, oiler uh, one of one drop at the bottom of the rail where the movement uh, is uh, is working on the bottom then always rotating carefully um, one up on the front uh, on the same on the same rail and then assemble everything and check if something changed okay this drive is still very marginal sometimes it reads fine writes fine discs but sometimes it doesn't even start the uh, formatting the disk for example let's try okay it doesn't even step uh, first uh, from the first track uh, always gives uh, an error uh, well in this case uh, the problem may, may be for example the, sp the spindle velocity the spindle speed which is wrong but on this kind of drives there's no way to adjust uh, the spindle speed uh, actually I, I didn't found uh, a way to adjust anything uh, so the other thing that may be important is the pressure of the head so the first thing to do is to check this mechanism that now there is no disc inserted, so if we close the door, uh, this uh, part of uh, the mechanics prevents the top head to, to go down and touching the, the bottom head. So let's see the difference when uh, a disc is inserted. When we insert a disc, there is this uh, little cone. that uh, is pushed in this direction and this part goes down when we close the door so the top head is free to, to go and touch the disc and of course the pressure on the disc is uh, given by this long spring uh, other than the, the pressure on the disc uh, a problem with the top head could be that it's not pressing even evenly uh, to the disc and touching evenly the, the disc to make it um, go and touch the bottom head 
So I tried to move this end of the spring on first on this side, so taking with a plier and move the, the spring on the on the side of the head and then on the other side when when moved the, to this side uh, there was no improvement when the spring was moved to this this other side uh, the the mechanism started to uh, read and write correctly the bottom side of the disc so that means that the the head position was uh, tilted uh, with this with this side to too much higher and so I gently very gently tried to bend the, the position of the head to turn on uh, on this direction going down on this side and that did the trick now the the head is touches evenly the disc uh, and both the bottom side and the, the top side were correctly read and formatting. Now it starts then to work. We are formatting a uh, disc, the uh, double side. When formatting, it starts from the first track, then goes inside until track 35. And formatting in this moment, the first step is formatting the the bottom side, the side uh, one, then six back to the first track and, and starts formatting the 35 tracks on the side uh, two, which is the, the top side. So the symptoms uh, before the, the fix were that uh, the format didn't start at all, or well, it started, it uh, was uh, interrupting uh, after the, the bottom side formatting it was uh, seeking back to the first track then trying to format to the top side and it, and it was failing as soon as it was starting formatting the, the top side so, so that pointed the problem on the on the top head so as the final test uh, I take an unformatted disk the directory just gives nothing and let's try to format it so ok, it's formatted correctly and directory gives the correct uh, amount of three blocks. Everything's put together, only missing the top case. So I guess this one is working well again. Another minor problem, uh, just the final one. I hope on this uh, uh, fifty. 71 uh, on this uh, 128D is the version of the disk firmware which is the 310654-03 uh, which is the original version which has a little uh, bug now I've inserted the C64 disk and when there is a 64 disk, it takes a lot to recognize the format and uh, giving the directory output. So I'll try to burn the latest version of the firmware for the 1571 on an and try if it solves the problem. The, the disk is working, it's just taking a lot to, to get the correct directory output like you see now. Version 05 is the last one and let's see what happens this is with the uh, normal uh, 1571 disk and this uh, fast now i'll swap the disk with a c64 one and it's fast too so now i'm testing um, 
the C uh, 128 D in 64 mode with my usual program and unfortunately there is no sound output on this one the quickest test was to transplant uh, one of my seeds and as you can see it's working I just prefer to hook up an external 5041 instead of using the internal uh, uh, disk drive because it was not easy to use the disk drive internally with the short cable and so on so this machine is a new seed unfortunately so the owner of this uh, 128D decided to send me a replacement uh, 6581 seed for his machine and while waiting uh, for the new seed I tried to address another uh, problem uh, uh, of the last with this machine which is uh, there is no action from the the key the number six of the keypad as you can see or the key works fine well, almost yeah they are quite uh, dirty but work fine but this oh yeah also the six works it's very dirty yeah uh, another key that doesn't work is the Commodore key and so far I haven't been able to make it work uh, even pressing very hard so this keyboard needs cleaning uh, at least so I'll try to uh, clean and, and see why the Commodore key never answer cleaned the keyboard uh, it was enough to just clean the keyboard um, I will link in the description a link uh, on how to key to clean correctly a uh, common keyboard so I just followed that procedure uh, with the only difference that this uh, the 128 keyboard has three switches that has to be uh, the soldered the caps lock the shift lock and the uh, uh, the 4 a 4 4 t and 80 column display so just three um, instead of one like uh, most of the other common keyboards and um, so let's run a test and see what happens As I often do after putting back a uh, repairing a machine, uh, just load some games from my old discs, like in this case, and have a short uh, play with the machine before shipping back. So I'll do this uh, also with this one, uh, of course, in uh, it's this low like a C64. <laughs> okay, then, then, so let's run. So it seems to work fine, at least in uh, C64 mode. Thank you for watching.